Hey everybody, uh, just a really quick uh, do-it-yourself uh, little project I just did um, tonight. Um, I, I'm not sure how many of you have iPhones or iPods or iOS devices, but um, I just recently got this iPhone 4S and I got it used from a friend and she gave me a really good price for it. Um, and uh, But I already have a cell phone and this is tied to Verizon and Verizon service where I live is terrible, so I'm not using it as a phone, but I'm using it as an iPod Touch. And just having an iPod Touch is great. Um, after using an Android tablet for the past year, uh, I can see why people are going gaga over their iDevices, their iPads and their iPhones and their iPod Touches, because this is just... <laughs> I like it a lot better. But, um, but I think it really kind of was a bonus that I had no idea about was the camera. I assumed, like, like, you know, that like every other camera f phone, or phone camera, it was going to be, you know, subpar at best. Um, it might take some really good shots if you're super duper steady and and stuff, but you know, I didn't think I wasn't expect anything out of it. But this camera is amazing. Um, it takes full HD video, and the color reproduction is amazing. Um, it's not just that it takes really well, it takes HD, but it takes really good HD. Now, and you can actually buy um, software like Filmic right here, which I'm actually going to buy um, to enhance the the functionality of the camera. You can slow down your frame rate, or you can speed it up. You can, you can, you can make your white balance uh, locked and your your exposure lock different than your than your focus. It's it's really cool. Um, so anyway, but I would never expect this to ever replace my digital SLR. I mean, I'm always going to be loving that more. But as a secondary camera, this qualifies really highly um, for you know establishing shots, wide shots. Um, this is something to to do as uh, from a wide angle maybe um, as a secondary camera but like every other phone uh, camera it's got a very small lens a very small sensor and also it's a CMOS sensor so uh, unless you are absolutely um, still it's gonna have some jello effect or, or, or uh, rolling shutter effect um, now Apple does have some pretty good software stabilization in here built in but it's it's okay it's not but it's not great um, but the whole point is is I'd like to be able to mount this to a tripod and so I thought well what do they have already have available so I looked up online and they already have some really nice ones like this one here I'm going to buy this very soon but in the meantime I thought well why don't I try doing something that I have with the materials that I already have it's one of my my, my challenges and so uh, now luckily for me the lady who sold this to me also threw in a whole bunch of these kind of back cover clips, um, and everything that she has is all D Disney oriented. And you know, I like Mickey Mouse like anybody else, but I mean, everything that she has is pretty much very feminine. And so I didn't really want to use it. But I thought, well, what if I took one of these? Because these, when when you get the phone clip on here, it stays really, really strong. You have to really pry it out in order to get them out. I thought, well, why don't I use one of these and, and figure out a way to mount this to a tripod quick release plate, and then I could mount that to, you know, mount this to a tripod. So I thought, well, I have a lot of this this uh, aluminum bar hanging around from different projects that I've used it for. Um, I can mount this to the aluminum bar, and then drill and tap a hole in here for a quarter inch that would fit this, the threads would fit a uh, tripod release plate uh, screw. So I made that. Here is the finished product. Now, this is a less uh, obvious um, um, cover here, but it's still Disney and still very feminine. But this is going to be something for my use only. I'm not, I'll be using the, the commercially available ones for anything out in the field. But in the meantime, what I did is I took and I, I in order to secure this, I used super glue. I was a little bit worried about the bond because these are such dissimilar materials. But it turns out it worked out really well. It stays on there really good. It's not coming apart. And so then I just mounted the aluminum to the tripod release plate, which I can use for other pro other applications. I don't have to. It's not it's not just for this. Um, but um, so we do you take the, the phone, and you clip it in there, and it stays. Now even after with some motion, it's not going anywhere. Um, but I still would only use this for light applications like basic panning and tilting and um, maybe some glider shot stuff that I, I use. 
Um, but uh, so if I was going to be using this on a, on a you know like a steady cam or, or something that requires a lot of motion, I would definitely use something that's a little more secure. But I'm still very pleased with how this works. Um, on the tripod, as you can see, it does what it's supposed to. It keeps it in place, it keeps it steady, stabilizes everything so that I can get really good stable shots. Um, and that's what all I'm asking it to do. So uh, there's my, there's my do-it-yourself project for the week. I thought this was pretty cool. Um, I'm very intrigued at the applications of, of, of this phone camera. I mean, it's, it's a lot better than I ever thought it would be. And it's opening up some ideas for what, what can I use this for? <laughs> now that I have it, what can I use it for? Um, and uh, I've seen several YouTube videos that, of short movies that were produced just using the iPhone camera, and uh, quite frankly, I'm just I'm amazed. Um, so, so it, it's giving me some possibilities. Uh, it sure beats using my uh, my standard definition camcorder for a secondary camera. Um, this is much better quality, and it's full HD. So, thanks very much. Let me know what you think. Have a great day.